Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. Police say around 9.30 this morning, a father shot and killed his wife and two children, ages 13 and 14, before turning the gun on himself. It happened at their home near Chatham Place in Linden, New Jersey. And right now, officials are investigating what could have led up to that tragedy. News Force Jessica Huntington, live in Linden, New Jersey, with the very latest there. Jessica. Gilma, it's just so incredibly sad, and you feel the weight when you speak with neighbors here in this neighborhood in Linden. Uh, we are learning tonight that the family's two children, they were young teenagers. A lot of the emergency vehicles have since left the scene here, but the lights are still on inside that home as investigators are in there trying to find out why this happened. That's that's the rule. That's, that's something you can't believe. I can't believe. It is hard to find words after Digna Alvarez found out the family who lived next door is now dead. A murder-suicide on Sunday morning here on Chatham Place in Linden. He heard somebody was screaming, man kicks. But she was thinking that she was playing with the kid, with the doggy. Linden police say they responded to a shooting here around 9:30 this morning. They found two adults and one child dead. Another child was rushed to the hospital in critical condition, but died hours later. Linden's mayor says the kids were 14 and 13 years old. A source close to the investigation says it was the father that opened fire on his family. So he was an uh, electricity, and sometimes we need help. And he helping us. It's awful. Kids, children, the wife. I know his wife walks her um, dog around my neighborhood all the time, so she would always waves high. The home, a crime scene all day long. Evidence and remains removed with so many questions about what's gone on inside and what led up to this. A beautiful family, very close family. No, no, I never had any fight between them. Very nice. Governor Phil Murphy uh, tweeting out his thoughts and prayers after finding out about this uh, horrific incident here in Linden. Obviously, this is still a very active investigation as neighbors are feeling the weight of this tonight. Live in Linden, I'm Jessica Cunnington, News 4 News. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please.
please subscribe.